I don't want to be the person that maybe spoils the mood, but we're a week ahead from an important summit that's going to take place uh, in Brussels. And the line is 50 billion euros for Ukraine, which the country says they really need now. They really need the visibility and the cash. Will they get the 50 billion euros? Well, first of all, thank you for having me and welcome to Riga. <laughs> uh, I do believe that uh, with, of course, some elements of drama, as it always happens yes. with all the decision making in the European Union, or almost all the decision making, uh, we are going to see the heads of uh, state and government uh, sitting in the European Council to agree. Uh, I do believe that there are still two options open on the table. Either all 27 agree, or there are uh, some possibility of using different mechanisms. But one thing is very clear. Ukraine needs that money, mm -hmm. Ukraine must get that money, and uh, the European Union must deliver. So the message that I hear from you is that with or without, uh, we're going to have to name him uh, Viktor Orban, there will be a deal. Well, I do hope that uh, at the end of the day, uh, all 27 members of the European Union will be able to agree. I don't see any reason not to. I understand some, um, let's say, proposals mm -hmm. probably to have some review mechanism uh, to dispense that money in uh, one, two or three or four tranches. Uh, I think that's something that uh, one can negotiate, but I think that what uh, really all need to agree is that uh, Ukraine must get that money.